hearty good morning to all from my english reader course book turn page number 126 in our page number 126 we have lesson 10 export quality before laying the foundation of the story let us talk about the author export quality is authorized by lena dingra Lena Dingra, an actress and a poet who resides in the United Kingdom, has written the novel Amrit Vela, describing the feeling of immigrants. The novel Amrit Vela focuses on feelings of immigrants, and an extract taken out from this novel is mentioned in our lesson. The story speaks of a girl named Meera. who is taken from india to britain at a very young age she returns to india after her marriage to an englishman she also has a young daughter this story points out the features of the goods or services which are sent abroad for sale now let us have some talkings about the characters there are six characters in this lesson first meera second some craftsman third cashier fourth shoe shopkeeper fifth street vendor and sixth rickshaw puller so let's start the story welcome back to the lesson export quality today meera had returned to india after living in england for many years She compares life in India with that in the West. She talks about the unique experience of a shopping trip in India. She stood at the heart of Delhi where she compares the Indian cottage industries to a department store. A department store provides all the basic requirements of a large variety of quality goods and services. On the other hand the skills of craftsmen would be viewed in the cottage industries the manual effort the brilliant thought and the charming goods or services used to attract the customer if you have visited any fair or exhibition it would be easy for you to get into the experience of meera a particular department divided into sections with the label of fixed price goods according to the quality was viewed by meera the entrance was magnificently decorated with the object displayed gold glitter color and craftsmanship a mixture of old and new past and present the shop had its unique style it had three floors and each floor had its importance you know arts and crafts from the length and breadth of india all gathered together in one place now let's go with meera for shopping at the imperial capital of independent india once again welcome back to the lesson export quality now Meera entered the ground floor of the shop and started examining the things which were in front of her eyes. Her mind was crowded with thoughts and plans of the past, present and future images. Not only this, she was influenced with the colors, sounds, smells and look of the things. She wanted to have some cards for Martin and some bangles for her little Maya. her eyes were in search of the things especially the bangles she was told by the workman to move upstairs if she want so she went to the first floor there she viewed brocade purses with mango motif the fine cloth which was used to make it made meera wonder of the olden days She collected nine purses and placed them at the counter. Then she was handed the bill 
and was requested to pay at cash desk upstairs. While climbing the stairs, she tried to remember the name of the fabled muslin cloth which was very wide and very long and yet fine enough to pass through the ring of a little finger. She wondered if the East India Company really cut off the thumbs of the weavers. All these thoughts were arising in Mira's mind. Then she read the cash counter. When she handed the cash and the cashier started counting, she saw that his thumb was missing. Mira was aghast. Then the cashier gave her 30 paisa in stamps. She was told to collect her courier at delivery counter downstairs. You know, the stamps were used as a token, as a proof that the customer had paid the money. Then Mira climbed downstairs and collected her courier. Now Mira stepped into the crowded street. She was in search of a shoe shop from where she could purchase a set of chappals for herself. Studying Mira's eyes, a shoe shopkeeper requested her to visit his shop. He uttered English, which made Mira surprise whether the shopkeeper had read her thoughts or the appearance. Then Mira entered the shop. She walked around the shop and decided to purchase a traditional design chapels of her own skin color. The shopkeeper gave her a set of chapels and told her that it would shrink or stretch in no time to become the perfect fit. But Mira didn't like it because she don't want any stretch mark on her chapels. Then the shopkeeper offered Mira a cup of tea and requested to wait for him. He rushed out of the shop and was back with a high pile of boxes. He told that the chapels which he had brought were the best one. When Mira tried the first one, it fit on her without any stretch. Then she asked the reason why the shopkeeper had kept the fine one aside. He told her that they were kept so for they belong to the best quality. They were kept for export quality means were to send abroad. She bought a set of chapels for her and moved towards home. She passed a cart on which Christmas cards, New Year cards, Diwali greetings and birthday cards were there. She paid 3 rupees and took her card. Later, she got on a rickshaw which drove her home. And like this, she reached her home producing a rhythm of export quality with her foot. Thank you.